what's going on everybody it is an exciting exciting day i have finally finished off our two squats now of course they're not seven star they're not max gear they don't have good mods they don't have ability finished they don't have their levels finished they don't have basically anything finished so when i say i finished my our squads we we really didn't finish anything but we at least have the characters uh, and that is something that i have been waiting on for a little while now of course uh, i did get this kind of like yesterday you might have seen it in my video um previously i, I had just gotten enough shards to activate piet um, and I had not, you know, gotten really into it. I wanted to save it for you all to kind of activate it with me. Uh, but this is actually a pretty big deal. This kind of is the first start towards really getting a solid team going. Because although the Phoenix squad with Captain Rex are still really, really good, one of the big things about Captain Rex specifically and using him within that squad is that he is going to take forever approximately twice as long to farm as every one of these characters um that we are seeing here on this list right Hera Sabine Dark Trooper all three of those guys and Piet are all hard nodes but they're all accelerated hard nodes and so being able to use a really strong trooper squad across basically anywhere in the game is going to be really important now of course Piet's starting at two stars. It's going to be a while until I can get him up to four and five stars. Heck, Dark Trooper here took me until, well, just about like three days ago until I got him up to four stars. So we're looking at at least close to three weeks or so for Piet, but we at least have him on lockdown and we have him ready to go. This also means that I might be trying to improve my imperial trooper squad more than my phoenix squad even though i do want to bring up sabine to the next gear level here so that i can at least say that i've gone ahead and got her up to purple gear um i will be trying to improve my trooper squad a little bit more than my phoenix squad because i actually do think that they're a little bit stronger in the earlier parts of the game to try to get a little bit ahead on arena because one of the big things with arena is that we kind of just need to reach certain thresholds and offense focused teams that kind of just straight up burst out opponents are really really powerful right i'm hovering right now uh around like under 1k um that's not the right way uh to look at it but i'm getting 400 squad currency a day and i would really love to get 500 a day i think that's gonna be a big bonus but i have to get top 500 and if you look here we'll just do a battle real quick um we'll see if we could beat this uh, i'll put it on on auto just so i don't have to you know go through the motions here but um I do try to manual a lot of my battles here in arena since well there's not too many to do in a day and i figure you know what since i'm here and i want to try to get to that top 500 let's try to get um some manuals in but the phoenix squad kind of just lack that punch that specifically dark trooper has okay imperial troopers yeah yeah they do damage and all that good stuff but it's really the dark trooper that carries that squad in terms of dps especially um I mean, maybe throughout the entire game, I don't know, late game, but in the early game, at least he is the reason why you can punch through squads. And sometimes you just need that kind of DPS. And also when you're in situations like, well, you have, I don't know, some team that is particularly tanky, or maybe you just have a lot of team, a uh, team with a lot of offense that isn't more grindy. For example, this Jedi team with specifically Jedi Knight Anakin, this is oftentimes why I manual it. Um, if Jedi Knight Anakin gets a couple of AOEs off or, you know, Tarx is passive too many times he can kind of just wreck your team and uh, at least the phoenix squad whereas the imperial troopers just one shot one shot one shot go through the motions especially with veers and stark and uh, moth gideon backing up the dark trooper and with admiral piet ooh, this is a huge game changer uh for us so what do we actually get for the trooper squad with piet here now that we actually have him well there's a few things and i want to add that uh when you're looking at yet i like to look at like level five level six abilities because many people are going to say oh yeah well you get like a mass team attack when you have individual failure on everyone but that doesn't really apply to us because we don't have level eight abilities yet so level six we're getting a an assist so a random empire ally it's a decent basic right the imperial ambition right we're going to get like level five level six ish and what we're basically going to get is offense up and marked 
now marked is really really nice um and also you get the inevitable failure which is well kind of irrelevant or should be irrelevant for the most part um the actual uh debuff itself it's all about how it interacts with other pets other abilities because we really don't want that guy to die but offense up is nice especially with dark trooper and as i mentioned the mark so we can really specifically target certain targets several roll strike also very very powerful um you're just gonna sit there and dispel all buffs on light side enemies this is really good against the enemy phoenix squad as well as bad batch which we're seeing a ton right now of course we have the leader which we're not really going to be using right now um and then on top of that you get turn meter whenever empire ally takes damage you can get a lot of turns out so it may not seem like a lot but the ability to dispel all buffs is really huge in arena right now and then of course the offense up and uh well passing around uh some marks is going to be really really good and eventually when we do get those higher levels like when you get the max level um you know uh what's it called um imperial ambition you really start to see the impact of um inevitable failure okay um if your characters end up dying you're just gonna absolutely wreck with piet himself which is kind of cool um, which does happen every once in a while and then of course if you do get the again max out suborbital strike boom suddenly you're getting that daze which is huge as well as the fear um on allies which is a little unfortunate but the fear on enemies is going to be really really nice uh, as well so something to uh to look forward to again he may not seem that insane right now but he is well for one at least a fifth member and that is big when it comes to you know team attacks with moff gideon uh the errors himself colonel stark's ability relies on other you know troopers or uh, other empire allies and things like that and this is going to be one of the big ones to add to our roster uh, on another note what are we headed for now that we have imperial uh, admiral piet here is i'm not piet i don't i would call him piet actually what is this what is this uh title it's admiral piet right yeah it's admiral piet okay <laughs> um but we are headed towards you know getting ourselves on a, a piet unlocked and honestly i've been kind of detouring a little bit lately and you all can let me know what you think in the comment section down below about some of these events so we need scoundrels and bounty hunters i believe for the credit heist so i'm pretty convinced that i just want to level up the best Garmando squad they're all scoundrels um, so IG-11, uh, Grief Karga, Quill, Mando, and uh, Cara Dune. I'm probably just going to level them up to like gear five. Um, so I can actually just do some of these things. Again, not a huge deal. At least the training droid one isn't. And if I miss this one, it's like whatever. But the credit heist, when that comes around, because we did actually miss the first one. Um, and I do not want that to happen again. That's going to be a huge deal going forward. So I think I'm going to invest into that while I'm investing into my Imperial Troopers. But... We'll get them online and we'll run back with the imperial troopers and i'll be pretty excited about it so also you might notice in the top left guys tomorrow is going to be a big big day because we are going to unlock our fleet it's going to open up stores and it's going to open up the whole game for us realistically so i'm really excited about that stay tuned and i'll see you off the next one <laughs>